Hello Tiki. In this session we will learn how to work with requeue item with delay action as part of work queue actions. All right, let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. The main purpose of requeue item with delay action enables desktop flow users to requeue items and set a delay period on which time the item can be released again for processing. To make you understand, let me show you a small example. Let me switch to the Power Automate. There you can see in my work queue, that is product sales work queue, there are a lot of work items has been loaded in this work queue. These items cannot be processed in time because there are some ongoing routine system maintenance being performed by the IT team. This maintenance will be completed overnight so that we'll proceed to delay each item which are there in queue by 24 hours and then we are going to set them the expire as 24 hours after the release period. By using process work queue items, we will process each and every work queue item which are there in queue. But by using requeue item with delay action, we are going to set this expire and expired dates to reprocess them again for the release again after these 24 hours. All right. Now, if you see the parameters for the requeue item with delay, I'm hanging the first one is work queue item. For which work queue item you want to set the delay, right? So that you can go ahead and you can give the delay until and expires on these two parameters you are going to set for this work queue item. Now, the second parameter is that delay until. Until when you want to delay this work queue item in particular work queue. And then, after setting the work queue, when it has to be getting expired. It will expire after the particular time so that I'm going to give it as expires also. So to set these two values, I'm going to use get current date and time action. Let me click on cancel. Let me drag and drop this get current date and time action onto the workspace to get the current date and time. Let me drag and drop. This get current date and time action retrieves the current date or the current date and time. What are the parameters? We are going to give it as retrieve, that is current date and time, and the time zone is the system date and time. And the variables produced, that is the output, it will be stored inside my variable, that is current date and time. I'm going to click on save. Now, I'm going to add some hours to the date and time, right? How can I go ahead and do that? I'm going to use the action called add to date and time. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace after get current date and time action. Let me drag and drop. I'm going to set date and time parameter as current date and time, which we are getting from get current date and time action. Let me select that. And I'm going to select the variable that is current date and time. Now, how many hours that I want to delay this process, right? So that I'm going to give it as one and then time unit. You can see over here the unit, I'm having seconds, minutes, hours, days, months, and years. Now, I'm going to make you understand, I'm going to give it in minutes. But if you want to delay in 24 hours, then you can add 24 as the numeric over here, and hours you can select it. For the time being, to show you the output, I'm going to give it as minutes over here. And the output, I'm going to store inside the variable as resulted date, I'm going to rename it as delay and then I'm going to click on save. In the same way, I'm going to add for the expired also. I'm going to add add date and time. I'm going to copy paste over here this action. And then I'm going to double click on the add to date and time action. So I'm going to expire after particular time, right? I'm going to give this add as two minutes. The variable I'm going to make it as expired. And then I'm going to click on save. Let's go back to the work queue actions and I'm going to drag and drop this requeue item with delay action onto the workspace again. Now we'll understand the remaining two parameters, delay until. Until what time that you want to delay this requeue item with delay, right? There you can see if I click on the IE information, the time a queued item is held in queued state until the release for the processing, right? I'm going to delay until for the next few hours, right? Delay means what is the time that we are going to mention it. So that we are going to get from add 
to date and time which has been stored in delay. I'm going to select the variable that is delay. The another parameter is that expires. When it will be expired, I'm going to select the variable that is expired. I'm going to select it. There you can see the expire parameters, the date and time, the requeue item is set to expires, right? This is where you are going to give it as set to expires. All right. Now, these are the two things which you are going to give whenever you are going to select the requeue item with delay action. So now another parameter is the processing nodes. I'm just going to give it as requeue item. And then if you are going to see another parameter, clear processing nodes, whenever you are going to enable it, this process nodes will be cleared in the database as well as in the action also, you don't find this processing nodes. All right. From this requeue item with delay action, I don't have any kind of output variables. All right, let me click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output by clicking on run. Flow execution started. There you can see by using get current date and time, it will get the current date and time of the system. And then it will create two outputs that is delay as well as expired by adding date and time to the given current date and time action. By using process work queue item action, it will pick the work queue items which are there in queued that is product sales work queue item action and then it will store inside work queue item. There you can see now it has been picked the work queue item that is PROD 07352 and then it will requeue that based on our parameters that is delay. So till what time it will get delayed? It will delay for a minute and then when it will expire after the given date and time of this expires, right? Now let me pass the desktop flow for some time and then let's go back to the work queues that is product sales work queues. I'm going to click on refresh. There you can see the work queue item ID that is PROD 07352 which is in queued still and then you can see these three columns. First one is delay until expires and expired till when it has to delay that is September 13 05952 and then we have given minutes of that is expires on September 13, 1953. And there you can see it has been expired or not based on the time it has been expired. And then what will happen till that time it will go for the release for the next processing. All right. I hope you understand how to requeue items and set a delay period by using the action called requeue item with delay action as part of this tutorial.